the generic geriatric cyclist 2022. So what's better, riding inside or riding outside? Hello and welcome. I'm John Smith, the generic geriatric cyclist. Today, we're going to be addressing a question that's haunted the minds of all the great philosophers and sages throughout the ages. Which is better, riding indoors or riding outdoors? First, the advantages of indoor cycling. 20 years ago, if somebody brought up the question, which is better, indoor cycling or outdoor cycling? Outside cycling would be a no-brainer answer. Back then, almost nobody would choose riding the wall of death on rollers or a noisy indoor trainer while staring at a black wall over riding in the great outdoors. Now there's an argument to be made for both sides of the question. There are still a few purists around who will say that training indoors can't even be counted as cycling. But most of us have come to embrace indoor training. What's the difference between now and then? It's the advent of two game changers, smart trainers and video training platforms. In the days before smart trainers and Zwift, I used a loud indoor trainer during the winter to attempt to simulate riding along with a video of people cycling. I thought that it wasn't terribly boring until I did it a second time. So thank whomever we thank for such things as trainers that can simulate your speed, power, and distance over a variety of terrain as you watch your avatar on a video screen ride through an attention-grabbing virtual world. Suddenly, you could do things on a trainer that you'd be hard-pressed to do outdoors, all without potholes and cars that would just as soon run you into a ditch. Nowadays, you can ride indoors in any kind of weather without lethal boredom. That means you can ride longer and train better. Training with power is the norm today, and your trainer gives you a fairly accurate power reading and no expensive power meter is involved. It's a whole lot more accurate than perceived exertion or even tracking your heart rate. The downside of riding outside with a power meter is the price. They say it will come down, but I'm not holding my breath. Your trainer, paired with a platform like Zwift or Ruby, enables you to do structured workouts. Even if I had a power meter, like most of us, I don't have the road conditions where I can ride without a red light slowing my roll before an interval is done. Counterintuitively, group riding is easy on the trainer. You're riding with cartoons of other people, and you can't stop with them for coffee and a donut, but at least you have an incentive to push hard enough to avoid getting dropped. That's something, anyway. Then there's racing. The real world would not be kind to me if I attempted racing. Actually, the world has more sense than to allow old guys like me to race against each other. No municipality on earth has enough ambulances for the number of crashes that would occur in a criterion for seniors. On the trainer, we can experience the thrill of competition without road rash and a broken collarbone. Training platforms like Ruby enable you to ride virtual routes from all over the real world. It's a great way to do some armchair traveling without the armchair. You can ride all over, climb mountains without altitude sickness, and view the sights from the discomfort of your own pain cave. And now, the advantages of cycling outdoors. But there are things you can do outside that you could never do on your trainer. Fresh air, the wee feeling you had riding a bicycle as a kid, the companionship of group riding with actual human beings, riding for longer distances than you could stand to do indoors, even with the most sophisticated training setup. Then there's seeing and riding dream routes in person. As I said in one of my first episodes, I rode the stunningly scenic 112 mile Ring of Kerry in Ireland. 
the Pacific Coast Highway in California, and Lake Como in Italy. No video simulation can compare to those places. They are still more than welcome to haunt my dreams. But bottom line is that we don't have to make a choice anymore. I'll be riding outdoors whenever I can, but I'll also keep riding on the trainer to do interval work and when the weather keeps me inside. For me, there's no either or, it's both. And that seems to be where it's going these days. And that's a good thing. So that's it for now. I hope we have contributed to humankind's quest for knowledge and have contributed something on this particular topic. So that's it for now. So long. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.